Good morning, science learners! Welcome to our science learning episode for quarter 3, week 3. At the end of this learning episode, you are expected to identify objects attracted by a magnet. But before we start, please prepare your science notebook, ball pen, and take note of the important concept of our today's lesson. Class, can you still recall our past lesson? Great! Amazing! Last week, we discussed about the effects of force on the shape, size, and movement of an object. You learned that a force is a push or pull, which occurs when two or more objects interact with each other. The shape and size of an object may change when force is applied to it. You also learned that the force applied on an object affects the object's movement. Objects with lesser mass require lesser force for it to move it to some distance, while objects with greater mass require greater or stronger force to make it move longer distance. Now class, let me check your understanding of our past lesson by answering the following questions. Direction. Read and analyze. Write the letter of the correct answer on the blank before each number. Are you all ready? Let's begin. Good job, Amazing. kids! Class, look at the pictures. Can you identify which of the materials get attracted to a magnet? Why do you think these materials get attracted to a magnet? What are they made of? And why are the other materials not get attracted to a magnet? Magnetism is the force that acts on objects made of steel, iron, and cobalt and makes them move. Here are the examples of objects that attracts to a magnet. These objects are made of metal. They are also called magnetic objects. Example, paper clip. Wrench. Pins. Nail. Here are also the examples of objects that are not attracted to a magnet. These objects are non-metal because they are made up of wood, such as pencil, wood, made up of rubber, another made up of glass made up of paper and made up of plastic class you have to remember that magnets are objects that can attract other objects made of metals some metals 
such as nickel, iron, and cobalt are attracted by magnets. Magnets have invisible magnetic fields. One end of a bar magnet is the North Pole, and the opposite is the South Pole. There are several types of magnets, like ring magnet, bar magnet, cylindrical magnet, and horseshoe magnet. After learning, the materials made up of metals are those attracted by magnets and materials which are non-metals are not attracted by magnets. Let us perform this assessment time. Are you all ready? Yeah! Color the heart red if the statement is correct and blue if it is not. Number one, magnets can attract objects made of wood. Number two, not all magnets have a magnetic field. Number three, a horseshoe magnet is a type of magnet. For number four, a metal spoon is an example of a magnetic object. And for number five, magnets can attract all materials.